Greetings. I'm here to bring us the new moon reading for our new moon happening Thursday, February 11th. This is a new moon in Aquarius happening at 1.08 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. I will be using the Morgan Greer deck. I will be drawing four cards for us, speaking about them individually, and then talking about them all together. We are seeking the guidance and the messages that will assist us in best traversing this new moon energy of February 2021. The first card is going to be the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is about balance and boundaries. The Two of Swords is about knowing when to protect ourselves and also knowing when we are being protected from outside forces. Understanding that we don't always have access to everything and sometimes that is for the purpose of protecting us. Sometimes we are being divinely protected when we're not able to break through in a certain area. And just like it's healthy for us to have boundaries for ourselves and to protect ourselves when it is wise to, the universe also protects us in a way that is healthy and in a way that has wisdom. Sometimes when we can't move forward in our lives or when we can't break through in a specific area, in a specific project or into a specific endeavor, it's because the universe is protecting us. Understand that not everything is meant for us. And this new moon reading is brought to us by my patrons via Mystic membership. I'm very grateful for their participation and their sponsorship. If you would like to check out Mr. Mystic membership, please look below the video to see more information. Our next piece of guidance for best traversing the energy of the new moon, the Aquarius new moon in February 2021, our next piece of guidance is the world card. The world card is about having a second chance. It's a good time for reconciliation. It's a good time to try projects that we have tried in the past that didn't work out for us the first time. It's a good time to revise, revamp, revitalize. We will soon be offered a second chance to become successful in an area where we once had difficulty or challenges. This will be a good new moon to revisit things that didn't work out for us previously because now we have the skills, we have the tools, we have the wisdom. We know how to make the situation work for us. We know how to gain success out of it. And not only that, we will gain great fulfillment by revisiting that dream, that project, that situation, or that endeavor. So it looks like the reason that we are being blocked in one area is so that we can go back and have a second chance in the area that was right for us all along. The only reason it was blocked in the first place is because we needed time to gain those skills, to gain that knowledge so that we could then make it successful. What is the next piece of guidance available for us for the Aquarius new moon in February 2021? It's the Seven of Cups. And on the day that I'm recording this, the Seven of Cups was also my card of the day. The Seven of Cups is about breaking through illusions, breaking through delusions. This is about seeing things for what they really are, seeing things as they play out directly in front of us, rather than getting caught up in how things could be, or how things should be, or how we wish things were. We are now to really look our lives, look our realities in the face and accept what's really going on in front of us. This card is often applied to relationships as well, especially situations where people present to us what they could offer us or what the relationship might become. When people offer to us a dream version, an idealized version, or it, a version, a, a fantasy version. 
of what things could be. It's our task to look at what things really are. What do we see in the actions in front of us? What do we see in the events in front of us? Rather than listening to words or fantasies or dreams, at this time during this new moon, we are to really just look at the facts, look at the events, and ascertain for ourselves what is true. Truth is subjective, but we also need to have practical and logical methods for determining what is going on in front of us, especially when what is being said or what is being presented doesn't quite add up to what we're feeling or how we're experiencing things. It will be a good new moon to really um, look at the facts and to break free from fantasies, illusions, and delusions. That can also be a kind of, um, almost like a curse-breaking kind of energy, just in terms of breaking free from any kind of perceptions that we have that are based on um, ego mechanisms, or that are based on defense mechanisms, or um, that are based on um, misinformation that we feed ourselves through our beliefs or through our worldviews, right? So breaking through illusions that we have within ourselves and thus being able to break free into a new kind of phase in our lives because we are seeing things clearly. Okay, what is the last piece of guidance for us to best traverse this new moon energy in February 2021? Let's see what comes up for us. The last piece of guidance is the Ten of Cups. So it will be a good new moon for enjoying our friendships, enjoying our family for having a lot of harmony, a lot of joy, a lot of togetherness and unity with those people that we really love and that really love us. And what does that mean? It means the people that um, see us for who we really are and accept us fully and wholly. The people that we do not feel the need to be defensive or we do not feel the need to be in our best behavior or we do not feel the need to omit certain parts of ourselves, right? These are the people that know us, accept us, love us, embrace us. This will be a very good new moon for spending time with those people, for really um, summoning up some of those joyful, harmonious vibes of togetherness and feeling the love. But also, this is a good moon to be sure that we're focusing on those kinds of relationships as opposed to other kinds of relationships. With the Seven of Cups here and with some of the things that are going on in this reading, I see that it's going to be really important for us to be sure that we're focusing on the right types of relationships in our lives. This may be a good time to determine who needs to be cut out of our lives. Are there people who don't really accept us for who we truly are? Are there people who are asking us to play a role for them? Are there people in our lives that want us to be different than what we really are? Are we in any kinds of relationships that are dragging us down, that are making us feel bad about ourselves, that are asking us to change in ways that are contradictory to our authentic selves. This is a good new moon to evaluate your relationships and to place more emphasis, more time and energy on those relationships that are healthy and that offer you the togetherness and the acceptance that you desire and you deserve. And if there's a relationship in your life that isn't working out, it's because you're being offered a second chance for another aspect of your life to work out at this time. So the best piece of guidance for you for this new moon happening February 11th at 1.08 p.m. United States Central Standard Time is to get clear about the relationships in your life that are really healthy for you and that support you as a whole and the vision that you have for yourself and the vision that you have for your life. Many, many blessings and happy new moon.